Hey everybody, we're at Clearwater Beach today. It's blistering hot. Mega on the humidity factor. Good thing the wind's blowing. But I thought I'd come out here after the hurricane and see what we could drum up. This beach is heavily hunted and never really found anything of significance here but I haven't spent that much time here but um, I wanted to show you guys how far the tide went up here this was completely flooded over here you can see where it went up on the seawall over there but this is a low-lying area but the water came in here like nobody's business so I'm hoping it washed some stuff up um, I'm in between some hotels where I usually park and I couldn't park where I usually park right here because there was a bunch of company vehicles there before and as soon as I got parked somewhere else I walked back over this way and they were gone but anyway I'm gonna get all hooked up um, I'm using my GoPro backpack for the first time. It's got the um, it's got the place for your camera right here. So anyway, I'm gonna check it out, see how it works out, and um, we'll go from there. All right, so I went in this low lying area over here. I have headphones on today. I have 50, 60. It says it's shallow. Take a check. Got it in the scoop. We might be using a pinpointer all day. Let's get it out. Not make this a marathon. Penny. Memorial scent. So the beach really changed here. Um, it's actually amazing. Um, if you look down there where that uh, walkway bridge is, on the third, so not the one underneath that that little restaurant right there the first second third in the, even with the tip of that boat right there you could walk over there and it would be three or four foot deep in the water so and right i would have to say maybe 25 feet from me was the high tide line. And then of course there was all that beach back there for that, that all the hotels. But this thing is flattened out. Um, I haven't, it looks like people been digging holes in here um, and not filling them up. But so far everything that I've found is super deep right here on the beach so it's gonna be interesting i think what i'll do is i'll go with the shoreline out there um go over to the 
where the walkway is, and we'll see how it goes. Um, if I don't turn you on, that's because everything's either so deep or there's just nothing here, but we'll find out. All right, so like I said, I'm going to have to dig giant holes the way it's going. But I wanted to turn you guys on just in case there was something good here. signal for a second because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put some new batteries in my pinpointer. They decided it wasn't gonna work out for me today. So I don't see it there whatsoever. Whatever it is. Wow, we're talking small. There it is. What the heck? I think it's a button. Nope, it's a grommet. Told you guys, I'm the grommet guy. Sounded good though. Man, it is blistering hot out here when you factor in the humidity. And the wind's not blowing much even though it is helping a little bit but this seems this area right here seems to be a better line and you can see how it's dipped you know i really want to get over here too but i'm going to work up and back here on this side but i'm going to stay in this little dip right here because you can see where it came where you know it pushed stuff up there's a dip it goes up and there's another trough over there but this dip there's a million holes in it so somebody's been in here like i said they didn't fill in their holes or this was at high tide and they didn't do anything about it so that's unfortunate all in itself but everybody's on a gold grab all of a sudden so anyway we're on our way all right here's the first signal i got um, it looks like it's going to be deep. It's 
the hike down. It says it's deep. Which I believe. Super high, it's green and whatever it is. I'm like a quarter. And I tell you what, either I got some batteries that are bad or I'm going to have to send this thing back on warranty. And I actually like it, but it could be some batteries. There it is. Quarter. Looks like a quarter. Well, check that out when we get home. Oh, it's definitely a quarter. Eagle back. Turn pink. All right, I'm feeling better. Stuff's turning up. I wasn't gonna film this because it was giving me a super weird signal like a bottle cap, but it was all crazy, but got a pair of sunglasses. It's like somebody brought them from Jersey, ha ha. Anyway, I don't think they're anything. Definitely laying out anything, but anyway, we'll take them. Came up as a 26. This one's all crazy, but I'm gonna dig it anyway. It does show some iron. First, it didn't. That was right on top. Not bad. Now it's like it's all iron. There's several things in here. because of the brown brown head make sure there's nothing else in here so it's interesting after a storm 
you know, signals are way different than normal. So, just gonna have to learn from it. But like I said, that was around in, it was probably sitting like that. And it did show some iron. But it is what it is. You're gonna have to learn from this whole thing. Alright, we got a decent signal here. Like 84, 85. See what we got. Hopefully it's a quarter. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Got it. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that is. What is this? Let me wash it off. It what looks like it? it looks like a quarter that's got a bunch of shells on it. Oh yeah, that's a coin. So it's been down there forever. Uh-huh. Well, maybe pilot, huh? <laughs> uh, could be. You guys mind being on YouTube? You see on YouTube? Yeah. So, um, where are you guys from? Uh, originally from Bulgaria, but we live in Macon, Georgia. Oh, yeah, look at you. Yeah. How yeah. much is this uh, metal detector? Ah, I just broke it off. Probably a quarter. Um, you can buy that one for about 700 US. No, I, I buy one, but for six, uh, 600 and something. But yeah. yeah. I cannot it's understand how it works. Oh, <laughs> you have to watch all the YouTube tutorials. There's, you go on YouTube and you, t you know, you search for whatever kind of machine that you have. Yeah, it's really and it'll tell you everything. This, uh, do you know what kind it is? Uh, Garrett. Yeah, uh, Mind Lab. No, no, I don't know how it is. I just buy a gold one two time uh, Myrtle Beach. Uh, yeah. I don't find it. <laughs> well, when I first started, I had a really cheap one. And it would find everything. But this one, I can tell it not to show me iron. Yeah. Right? So, I, you know, I want coins and gold and silver. Silver? Yeah. So, you know, and copper, you know. Yeah. Yeah, this is a quarter. But well, it was all stuff. The color. What's that? The color. Yeah. yeah, that's, I record what I, what I do for YouTube. So I have a YouTube channel, it's called... You uh have -huh. a YouTube channel? Yeah. So it's called, uh, What the Metal with Dan and Don. I'm Dan. Dan and Don's working. Oh, okay. my girlfriend, she's, she's has to work today. She's not too happy I'm out here by myself. <laughs> so you tell okay, Don, tell, tell Don hi, and tell her I'm being, you know, a yeah. good, a nice gentleman. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All right, you have a good one. Right. 
so anyway we ended up with a quarter it was definitely it was definitely i think there's something else right there unless that's an imprint from the quarter but i'm going to throw it down actually let's use my yeah see there's something else right there too so interesting It looks like another coin it was stuck to. So, I don't know, I'm pretty cool, actually. Like I said, it was a super high tone. Like it was, you know, a piece of silver or whatever, but that's pretty interesting. We'll take that home and bag it up while I'm getting some hydration. Um, it said there was supposed to be thunderstorms and when I got here it was completely clear and it looks like there are, is going to be thunderstorms so we need to keep hunting it's pretty cool the sun's sticking through there um, you can tell the ocean is definitely churned up because usually this water right here I mean they don't call it clear water beach for fun I mean literally that water is clear so that's dirty for this beach so anyway I see a bunch of other detectors around here uh, there's somebody down there he's been working that area right there a lot of people are in that area I find a lot of trash over there and then there's another lady over there you can see her laying down she was digging over here for quite a while. But the one thing I want you to look at, again, you know, how to read the beach. And, and look at where the water's running. So I literally dug right there. So this is an area to focus on, on the beach and see how it curves down and back up. So, it's definitely a good spot. I mean, the minute I stepped into it, I'll get back over here so you can see. I mean, the minute I got into it, I found the, that quarter and met those nice people from Bulgaria that live in Georgia now. Interesting story there. Pretty cool people. Anyway, back to it. All right, I started up this thing I just showed you. And I got one screaming at me. Doesn't look deep. 80s. No iron. It's blowing my eardrums out. Making me talk louder. Says it's not deep. Still there. I'm making sure that I'm checking wherever I throw my pile right now because there's so much iron that's down there. I dug a few things you'll see in the wrap up just for the heck of it. So anyway, I was trying to be a nice citizen and get some of this iron off the beach. I got a couple of really sharp objects. All right, supposedly we got it. So, let's see if we can clean it off without losing it. Still out right there. I notoriously lose stuff lately. Everything's getting really small. Taking it off in the hole. Oh, there it is.
Whoa, that thing is worn down. I think it's George. A state quarter. But I'm not sure. He's definitely clad. But man, is it worn down. Let's see. Said it rang up like a quarter of a dime. Yeah, it's George. I see him now. State quarter. All right, I walked about five foot in there. Got another screamer. Sounds like a, another quarter for a dime. I don't know. We'll give it some scoops, see where we're at. Seems like it's right there, but it showed kind of deep. Oh, it's still there. Too far, we're on it. We got it. Well, moved it again. It's on the move, it's trying to escape us. Alright, I think we got it that time. You guys can see. First time I've used this. Oh, don't tell me it's little. There it is. Another quarter. Thing. I have to take my sunglasses off here. Oh, what the heck is that? I think it's a state quarter. Definitely clad. Yeah, there's George. Anyway, I'm telling you this is a little. That's how you read the beach. We're on the money. All right, I think we're on another quarter here. There's a uh, tent stake right here. I'm gonna pick that up in a minute to get it out of the way, but. iron over here too to my right I'm gonna be real careful where I dump here Tell you what, it's gonna suck as you can tell, falling in on itself. There we go. Uh, 
another quarter. Oh, man, I gotta take my sunglasses off. It's getting definitely overcast. It looks like those storms are gonna go over the top. So I'm happy about that. Oh, that thing's beat. It's been moving around like crazy. What the heck is this? I think it's a quarter, but... Man, is it scraped up. Yeah, I think that's one of the state quarters. But man, look at the look at the lines going that way. That has just been scraping its way up. Yeah, there's George. I see George now. But anyway, look how scratched up that is. That has been moving like crazy. All right, we'll bag it up. I think that's all this here. Now, this didn't sound very good, but I didn't have a camera on. A little piece of copper, probably from somebody's flashlight. Piece of electronics, whatever. Almost impossible to find it, but we got it. Dog or chair shaped. Starting to get crusty. I got another screamer here, but I wanted to show you the close to sunset. Beautiful beach. Another screamer. Now. 
laying on the sand. Quarter. George. Quick state quarter. Take another one of the sunset. It's too funny. Of course, everybody does selfies these days, but everybody's all about it when they're on vacation. And this is a beautiful place to be on vacation, but it's pretty funny. Quite a few, few people on the beach. But there always is for sunset. All right, I'm gonna get to it. All right, we got another streamer here. Hopefully another quarter. We only need like 10 more bucks to pay for parking. Ha ha. Go down there. Got it. We'll bag it. We're on the quarters, I'll tell you that. You need a nickel and a pin. Make cycle, but I don't really care if we make cycle if we're getting quarters every time. I'll tell you what. Everybody's like, oh, I made the cycle. I'm like, well, I just made a couple bucks and quarters. But if you can see what I'm doing, again, I'm working this low area. And then every time I come to one that has water in it, I work that all the way out. And I've been finding quarters in there like crazy. So anyway. Yet again, how to read the beach. All right, we got something weird here. I've been trying to dig nothing but high tones, but I can't help myself. like the end of a oh, falling it apart fishing lure yeah, yeah it's falling apart it's been down there forever you see the eyes on it I think that's what it is oh that's probably lead I had to guess but if nothing else good to get it off the beach So, this is pretty high tone, but 
stone from iron, or you hear an iron thump. And somebody does a hole here, or just a depression, but I think someone dug a hole here. And they didn't get it. It's in high 50s. Super loud. No, you guys can't hear it because I got my. Oh, all of a sudden it's not. There it is. <laughs> Crusty Penny. Oh my god, we're a nickel away from this cycle. Clean that up when we get home. Give you another shot of the sunset. Pretty cool in Florida. <clears throat> you know, they say red skies at night, sailors delight. Well, you can't. I can't believe that in Florida because our skies are red every night. Even if there's a big storm. So. It is. A big bouncy house over there. Never been in that thing. Telling you guys my beach reading class today is kicking into overdrive. I didn't go another foot. Got a super high town. No iron. Let's see what we got. I'll try to pinpoint it first. get the excavator out for this one it's down there That's oh right when I threaten it with the excavator Feet. 
a screaming 5960. Let's see what we got. I think we all know what it is. Oh, it's awesome. In scoop. Oh, what do we got there? Oh, something weird. I thought it was a pair of glasses in there. I think it's pink. Yeah, it looks like a zinc pink. You know, I should really get out of here. But I can't help myself. I told myself I'm only going to dig nothing but high sounds. And there's something weird right there. And I hear some iron in there. But. It's worth digging when it gives you that crazy of a signal. So, let's see what we got. Go down there. Like I said, it, there's so much stuff on the beach right now that I'm really trying to be religiously check before I throw something out of my scoop. We got it. It's the hugest soul crusher I think I've ever got. And it even has a bonus on it. Now, why that was showing iron, I don't know. But, it was... all right, this one's pretty high tone. Seems like it's shallow. Got it. high tones right now. It's so dark. So hard to find things. I don't have my flashlight set up very good right now. Anyway. Alright, we got another screamer here. 70s. 60 70s.
somebody's phone. It's tore up. phone out the deal. It's definitely old. Probably some other pieces of it down there. As usual, the beach always tries to keep me. High tone, super shallow. Looks like the water came all the way up here. Well, I know it did, because it was on the street over there. Got it. Made it easy on me. Try to shake it out. There's something. Quarter. It's George. State quarter. All right, I gotta get out of here before Don kills me. I made it to the turtle shower. cleaned up deck out of here I got sand from head to toe anyway it was fun got to work on my land uh, beach navigation for erosion So anyway, so anyway, enough of this. Probably sucks with the light. So uh, I'm going back to the truck before I get a ticket. Get everything washed up. Get on out of here. I'll let you guys run. Taking a little shortcut. The local shortcut. Famous Ron John surf shop. Of course, you got Hooters. That's not the first Hooters. The other one is uh, that'd be east of here.
parked over here by the Hilton. Crazy tourist area. next to us. That's what he knew. That's all he knew. On vacation. Starbucks everywhere. always have a line. Got a pretty cool little spot right here. Usually I park on that street over there and that's how the access I go into the beach. But um, like I said, today there was company vehicles parked over there, so. All right, we're done. Okay, here we are at the wrap up. Found quite a few things for an afternoon that turned into some dark digging there for a minute. But we found an old iPhone you notice it's pretty old because it only has one camera the thing was completely wasted there was no way I could return it to anybody and the piece right here is where the serial number is so you could actually get a hold of Apple and see if you could get it returned to somebody anyway long story short it had a um, uh, cover on it with the finger thing it had some bling on the end there of course it's fake found a pair of sunglasses after I got them home this side of the lens is really scratched up they aren't anything uh, they're no name brand um, found eight quarters two dimes um, that could be a dime there it's probably a penny uh, at least one copper penny two dimes a bunch of stuff we couldn't really even tell what it was that's kind of interesting it's got a something stuck to it this one was the one that was stuck to this right here and there's still a piece of a coin that's stuck right there in it. I'll end up probably um, soaking it in some vinegar and see if I can get it off of there. Um, this is a shell. It wasn't a shark tooth, but it was kind of funny. It looks like a shark tooth. Most of the shark teeth you find here are a lot smaller than this and they're black so 
<clears throat> this little piece was kind of interesting. That's definitely copper. This was the one visual find um, on the luxurious tent stake. A few of the items you didn't see me um, dig up on film. Uh, found a battery. Good to get that off the beach. That looks like a hair bobby pin. Um, that's either a piece of one or a real thin uh, nail from a staple gun. Um, who knows what the heck this thing is. Um, it's probably a bolt. I'll throw that in um, after I do this and see what if there's anything interesting in it. And I'll get back with you on that. <clears throat> screw uh that's actually a piece of a crab trap right there um which is we find that stuff all over the place uh this is like a rope tightener you know for your canopy or your tent or whatever um four bottle caps a couple soul crushers some old school pull tabs and like I said before, this is the biggest pull tab I've ever found right here. Which was, even though I hate them, I was pretty excited that I found one that big. Who knows what the heck that went on. Probably a, some kind of canned meat or something. Uh, my usual grommet. One you didn't see me dig up, I was actually talking to some other people. At first I thought this was a lead weight, but it's actually a bullet. So, kind of interesting. You know, usually you'll have a hole on the end there. Um, but this one didn't. So, I'm calling it a bullet. Um, this is like a fishing jig or whatever. You can see it has eyes on it. You know, usually it's a jig. Then it has the hook right here. Eyelet right there. You know, and you put something on there. There's feathers or you can put a rubber worm on there or whatever. But... Anyway, that's it. It was kind of interesting to see how the beach changed. Um, you know, it wasn't a big gold grab like you would think um, after a hurricane, which actually it was nothing but a storm surge. But um, anyway, that's it. Everybody, uh, thanks for watching. I know some of the digs get longer, uh, you know, and I have to chop them up, but... Thanks for putting up with it, and we'll see you out there soon.